Welcome back to my channel with Growing with Grace Homestead from the Garden to the Jars. And uh, today I have another project that uh, I'm not looking forward to doing. <laughs> so this, what you see in here, is my greenhouse that is in my basement. We built it out of two by fours and there's plastic in here and it's heat controlled. We have fans. So um, this is not where I do my actual planting. I do it when you first seen the video coming in, you've seen the messes on all the shelves and everything. That's where I actually do all my potting soils. And then I come in here and this is where I put all my plants. So I got shelves here and then shelves over here. <clears throat> so and then when I get done, then I will take them, after they start growing, then I will take them back outside where I showed you on the shelf that was a mess, which I will clean up and I put plants there and that way it's more cooler so then I take them from there and take them outside to the big greenhouse in the spring and then from there I put it in the garden so I have usually I have this mess all cleaned up by now this time of the year but because of a um, family medical emergency last July it kept me away from the house for about six weeks and that's why I never got this all straightened up. So now you guys come along and help me get this mess in order because I gotta start my seeds here next month on a lot of them. I cleaned off these shelves and swept them all down, make sure all the lights work, and then up here, I don't know, can you see that? Do you need to? Okay. As it is a bunch of cords, but all I have to do is flick the light off and they all, or I got chains. So for now, I want to get these up out of my way while I'm cleaning. So we have them on hooks where we can raise and lower these. But this, this is what works for me right now, guys. Oh, I can't get it in the chain. There we go. <laughs> so I got these up out of the way. All right, now I'm going to put these, I got this shelf cleaned off here. So I'm going to put these here. And then in this room um, is where, I, like I said, I have my plants. So I have everything I need, fertilizers, all everything in here. All right, let me get this stuff put away. I always have this extra cord whenever I need it. Put that right here. And I do have a little light here because I don't have no um, lamp light here, so I have this to hit any plants that are here. Now, I wanna get all this stuff off here. Uh, this shelf here, I will totally leave empty. I will not put or keep anything on it at the moment. The reason is, is when I start my seedlings in there and then I start bringing them in here and putting them on the shelves. So I basically I want this whole room emptied out so I'm ready for my plants to come in here. And again, it is heat controlled, uh, humidity controlled, right? And uh, also uh, I have fans in here. All right, um, I'm going to go ahead and sweep this out and then we'll get started in the uh, other room that you've seen with all the junk on the table. we got to get that organized. These are my elephant ear bulbs. I put these down here and lay them out in front of the dehumidifier to help uh, dry them out. Some of them uh, did uh, rot, but that's why I'm here sorting them.
what I'm doing here is this is leftover water that I got from the pond to uh, water my plants with. So I'm going to dump that out and then when I'm ready to uh, start watering my seedlings in the house here, I will go out to the pond and uh, get uh, water to do that with. The water is full of uh, good uh, hydrogen from um, all the poop <laughs> from the ducks and the geese. After I get this all swept out, then I go back and I take fabric softener sheets. Spiders and bugs hate fabric sheets. So I place one down there. I'll stick one right here. I put one back behind some other shelves. So, and it makes your room smell good. <laughs> but um, just place the sheets everywhere and then you won't have a problem with bugs. Hey, did you get my watch, my clock? Fixed? Yeah. Just got that restless sass watch and stole's watch. Oh my goodness. Seriously? <laughs> All right. I don't know about what he can come up with sometimes, guys. Um, this watch is actually almost 40 years old. I've had it for that long. I got it when my son was little. And of course, you know, he didn't want to take it when he was, uh, you know, leaving home, but. I couldn't, uh, I had to keep it. So I keep it down here so I can keep uh, time here. Have a clock. And then I put one back here. Oh, get down in there. <laughs> I put these also out in my chicken coop through the summer and it helps with the mice. If you can remember to do it though. All right, I put them there. And uh, again, it makes, you know, then down here underneath the table. And I'm going to put one underneath the conference table here also. So anyways, that's how you get rid of uh, some spiders and stuff. They hate the smell of fabric softener. This shelf here is where I store my containers. So I got to get them organized. I need to clear this table off. This is the table that I actually do my uh, plants on, getting them all potted up and then transfer them into the greenhouse. I buy these big bags of uh, peanuts and in my um, plants, my potted plants, I put those in the bottom and then put the dirt on top and it really helps uh, for drainage. This shelf here, I keep my supplies. And um, I have uh, like lime, uh, peroxide, fruit tree spray, seven dust, which I put on my top of my soil after I plant my seedlings because that helps uh, keep the gnats away. Then at the bottom shelf here, 
I have a big bag of uh, dried uh, chicken poo. <laughs> I use that for my soil after I, not for my uh, seedlings. I make my own uh, potting soil. So, um, but it's plant food, it's chicken poo. The next thing that I need to do now that we got the basement all organized is to come up here and get all of these seeds organized. Um, my buddy Toby, <laughs> you've probably seen him in some of my videos, um, I like to give him things to do. So uh, he came up here and he put this all out for me. And uh, so I wanted to say thank you, Toby. All right, let's get started and I'll kind of give you a, a better view here of what I'm doing. So what Toby has done is put all the peppers with the peppers, put all the tomatoes with the tomatoes. Um, he tried to sort the vegetables between the flowers, but he's okay. He did a good job. After I get these all sorted out, and then I'll go back and put these in individual packages. Like all of this is Brussels sprouts. Now I don't use all of these. I have a, a local nursery from the um, higher up Amish who. Uh, sell seeds and at the end of the year they can't sell them no more because they're outdated but I they give me all of this stuff and the germination maybe about 50 50 so that's about what you get with it um, but I have all these seeds I cannot use all these seeds so I am willing to give these out to whoever would like them. So if you would just want to leave a comment or if you're interested or I have an email that you can email me, then I will send these to you free. Now the last uh, couple years I have started collecting my own seeds and the Homish have a corn and I love their corn. And so I took uh, um, a couple of their ears and dried them out and the last three years I've been planting the corn and saving the seeds so I don't have to pay for corn the same with peas I make enough for me and then I after I uh, can my peas or whatever freeze them then I will plant another batch of pe peas in the fall and then I take the um, I let them dry up and I, so I got seeds same with the lima beans. Now I do have baby lima beans here. I love baby lima beans, but I would rather plant the large lima beans. You don't, it, you, you need a lot of baby lima beans to make a meal, but I do like them. So I, I will plant them and then I got my seeds for here, also for the regular, so I don't have to buy limas. Um, I have banana peppers and then I have my walla onions. I saved some of my seeds from that. I have radishes. I do have kidney beans. Um, I have dill. We have some dill. After I get all my seeds that I've collected from my own garden, 
then what I'll do, I bought this container and it's it's a craft container. I forget what it's called. But I'm able to put uh, my seeds, the, the small ones. I can't do the big like lima beans. But look at this. Um, th this is the, the purple uh, pepper plant. Here is the large cherry tomato. They, they're really nice. You dry your seeds, put them in here, and you can store them. I got this off Amazon. Um, my son does diamond painting, and so he uses these to help put some in his diamond. And I thought this would be really neat. So, that, like I said, I put my seeds in here. So I will do that with uh, all the herbs and everything. And uh, again, except for the uh, lima beans. This is a really nice little storage container. So right here, look at all the cantaloupe seeds. <laughs> The other thing, I will take all of these flower seeds and I have a place right next to my garden and this is what I just collect a whole bunch of different kinds of seeds in here. And right next to my garden I have probably a six by eight foot area and I would just scatter these seeds in, put some um, you know, dirt on top and the reason I do that, boy does it bring the bees right next to your garden and I do plant flowers in the garden too anyways I'm gonna go ahead and get started and get all this organized and then I would be able to uh, have my uh, greenhouse room in the basement completed all right I want to thank you for um, watching my video here today on how I organized my my basement I have a little friend here that keeps jumping up on me <laughs> Okay, the claws. Um, but thank you for joining me here on uh, Growing with Grace Homestead from the Garden to the Jars. All right, take care. <laughs>